And what was I saying before that? Some some crap. Okay, let me... I've got to bring up the preview window. Just to see what this looks like. That is... On the preview window is actually a lie from what I'll be getting uh, when I render it. So you guys probably won't see that corridor as blazingly blindly as I did. Maybe you will. There they are. He is, I would say he, but it's not a he. <gasps> Who could it be? Wow. Did he try and lower that? He, she. Did she try? Ah, that's not good. Not good at all. We'll go, uh... We'll go, we'll go, we'll go. Let's go this way. Um... Ah, uh, maybe we should have gone in the elevator. Maybe we shouldn't have. Yeah, there is an elevator. I thought it was, you know, it was glass, so it wasn't the best idea. Um... Okay. My vision just got frozen. Maybe Faith just got really interested in this corner piece of wall. Yeah, it's nice architecture. I wouldn't, I wouldn't blame him. Oh. Oh yeah. The elevator obviously doesn't work. Wow. That was a bit cruel. Christ. I mean, <laughs> give me a chance, game. Fucking hell. I mean, I know I ballsed around and didn't get in the elevator for a little bit, but... I mean, you'd have to be that fucking... I mean, that was just horribly bad. I barely even fucking... Ah. Oh. Christ. Please do not shoot me again. Right. What? 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 Uh, we're going this way, apparently. This is where we came from. Oh, we're up a level, I guess. Or two. Ah, yeah. I remember this. It's a pain in the ass. I probably will be getting a few more deaths on the death count here. Because, uh... Well, wow, Faith. Come on. You know, as annoying as this game can be, it's kind of like Assassin's Creed, except I, I have forgiveness for it. Like Assassin's Creed, that is not the right way. Assassin's Creed controls are bad. Like Assassin's Creed 3 I'm talking about, the other game is pretty fucking good, but... For Assassin's Creed 3 at least, for me the controls felt really bad. Can you just stop talking? I mean, I you know, I could figure it out for myself. But this game, the control can be a bit finicky, it's about the same level of finick as uh, Assassin's Creed, but I don't know what it is, I just feel like it's me who can uh, be the one to blame, because I know it's possible to do it well. Why are you asking me questions? I can't talk during, you know, the game. I can talk during cutscenes and, you know, the intro bits and stuff. Get higher, Faith. Get lucky, Faith. I can play that song on bass, did you know that? The more you know, it's a fan. Oh Christ! I have to turn the fan off, or I think at least slow it down. So I'm probably gonna die here. Now, because there's a lot going on, and I keep getting interrupted and having to pause for a little while without thought. Okay, it's actually stopping. I thought it just slowed down. You have to pick your moment. All right, that works. Why can I never roll? I guess you have to be moving to do the roll. Now, isn't it that we just come up behind a guy here? Yeah. Look at this guy. I think he needs a smug. But I'm starting a lot of topics that I'm not finishing. Okay, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Fuck this guy in particular. Yeah, they do have a machine gun. Great. I can get up there. Oh, 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 oh sir. Come fuck around this corner, please. I, I don't want to really go out there. Hello? Ooh. He's not happy. He's not a happy chappy. Didn't I say I was going to sing that old song? Aww. A delightful opportunity for a bit of bonding. Oh yeah, I remember there's a vent up there or something. You can get up in the scaffold. I guess they're building this more because there's a lot of construction and obviously they said that in... Uh, okay, I need time to focus. Christ. Let me have a coffee or something. Bloody hell. Ah, I totally fucked that up. Oh, alright, alright, yeah. Okay. Maybe I'll, I'll hold off from singing that song. You know, the one about Hitler's balls. And uh, get past this, this segment, because it seems like it re requires a bit of a uh, focus. I know they do. I'm pretty sure holding a gun doesn't count towards the achievement, but if it does, then I've just failed, so, you know. Good effort me, the playthrough's over. Might as well just go home now. But no, let's see if we can do this. Last time I just sort of pistol sniped this guy. 
Oh, come on, we could totally make that. We totally should have made that. Totally should have. Maybe, am I missing like a red bar? I'm sticking again on the preview because the preview's a few seconds behind. It doesn't look like there's anything there. Maybe I'm doing this totally wrong. Maybe I'm not. I know you keep saying every fucking time I reincarnate myself. A little bit weird. Maybe I should just try a different approach. Maybe, um, maybe this approach, a more direct approach, would be preferable. Maybe it wouldn't, because this guy would shoot the fuck out of me before I even get there. Oh, there's more! Well, good to know. I'm very fucking glad that you guys have decided to tag along and all. Maybe I should, uh, look for a different route up here. Or maybe there isn't one. I was going to say maybe I could go along there, but no, no. Dude, calm down! Oh, there is a red bar. Oh, well, Christ almighty. Thought I was going insane. And I still almost fucked it up. Well, that was a bit fucking... I mean, God, could you imagine? If I managed to balls it up again. With the aid of the red bar. That fucking red bar. What a legend red bar that was. Alright. Stairs. There's going to be a guy up here because of their stairs in a game that resembles Portal. You know, you know Portal when you always had, used to have those staircases? You know, the first one. It reminds me of that. When you always, like, when you're escaping towards the end, spoiler alert. If you haven't played Portal, then I don't know what the fuck you're doing with your life. Looks like my little friend is back. Ah! I don't know, but I think I know someone who does. Oh, we're done. All oh, nice. Now we don't go to continue my story. Oh, goody. More achievements. My G is going up. Oh, is this the cutscene that I think it is? No, it's not. Okay. They're bringing back an old character, guys. Why do you move like a fucking werewolf? Werewolf. Werehog. Hogwolf. Wow, that was a bit antisocial. Nice of you to drop by. With a little bit of persuasion, Ropeburn was pretty chatty. Told me about his meeting with Pope's killer at the mall. And you're thanking me, right? When I got there, guess who was waiting for me? No idea, Faithy. I just go there for the pretzels. Bad case of the blues. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? No, Faithy. It wasn't me. <clears throat> Besides, if I wanted you dead, don't you think I would have just killed you myself? You're right. A creep like you couldn't have organized it. Now, don't be like that. Ropeburn's dead. I'm impressed. Wasn't me. You need to be careful who you hang around with. Oh, I learned that a long time ago. And yet, here we are again. But I'm afraid I'm gonna have to cut this little meeting short, Faithy. Places to be, you know how it is. Try not to get yourself killed. Merc, Merc, you can stop pretending not to listen now. <laughs> What's up? Can you do a search on Perandella Kruger security? On it. Why do you ask? Been seeing their name around. In Ropeburn's office and somewhere else. Distinctive logo. Getting anything? Mm, just what you'd expect. Alarms, fencing, armored cars, private security. Oh, and they secure our world, apparently. Where are they based? A few offices around town. Just got a new place down near the docks. Get me some coordinates. I'm gonna go check it out. I guess that's where the story takes like a blind leap of faith. Faith. Ha! Huh? Faith. Get it? Blind. Blind leap. Faith. Jumping. Main character name. Head toward the building with the big stupid dog symbol. Loading base should be a way in. Oh, great. Well, I think that's about the last cutscene. I could be wrong, actually. I think that was about the last cutscene where they actually, you know, put effort in. I think. When we get to the cutscene preluding a, a level where we are on a ship, that is uh, that is where they give up. That is where they stop trying to make, you know, because so far, the characters that have been introduced have been pretty good, I guess. You've got Merc, he sounds like a... He's, he's helpful to, ex to an extent until you die load, and then he gets really annoying. Then you've got Jackknife, who's like the, the, the ex-runner, and he, he, he's back. You know, he's not just a one-time deal. They brought him back again. Uh, this Faith is getting the most fleshing out, being the protagonist. And then there's... 
shell cell? I don't know. It's cell, goddammit. But at this point, this, the story doesn't seem half bad. I mean, this is half good, to be fair. Uh, until it, you know, is more sort of, let's stop... Ah, idle animations. It's more sort of, let's stop chasing, you know, the actual... The actual, you know, the the, 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 the clues that we have. And then let's, uh, let's just take a blind leap of faith and go investigate the security place. I guess, you know, he did say that they rule our world. But in case you haven't realised, I'm stopping here, which is why I'm not playing anymore. And I'm just doing my little end of recording session waffle and checking out some of these lovely idle emotes. And uh, I think I think, I think it's a good, good little addition. I've never really stood still long enough in a Mirror's Edge game. Mirror's Edge game, there's only one of them, unfortunately. Soon to be two, I guess. I don't know actually what they're doing with the second one. I think it's going to be open world. But then again, jeez, you shouldn't have to crack your knuckles quite so much. But then again, it's just called Mirror's Edge. It's not actually called Mirror's Edge 2. So, if they just... I don't know what they're doing with that, but... Um... I was going to say it was a good idea to, uh... To add these little idle emotes. You should never really stay, lo stay uh... Still long enough in a Mirror's Edge to... To see these, because you're always in sort of a hurry. Almost 90% of the time you're in a hurry, or just not faffing around standing still. You're actually, you know, exploring, maybe looking for collectibles, whatever have you. But it's a nice way to, to give the little protagonist, you know, a little bit more personality. Like in, um, what's it called? Luigi's Mansion. You just have the little, um, subtle things like when he adjusts his backpack and hums along to the background. That was awesome in the GameCube version. Because I always used to hum along with them. It's like a fucking, uh, what are they called? Chorus? That's not, no, choir. Fucking hell. Humming. A humming choir. I'm sure that's actually a real thing. Okay, I'll stop rambling now. Thanks for watching, guys. This is it. This is the end. This is the end of the, this is the, end of the recording session. We'll be da back to do... Um, Pirandello Kruger. That's a strange name for a security force. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll be back to that next time. Fucking hell, I'm, I'm like feeling pretty awkward for some reason. Maybe it's because I don't know. I don't know. I don't know there's some sort of weird, eerie, otherworldly force in this room. You can't see this room. It's actually a pretty shit room. You'd probably be better off in the room you're in right now. Unless you're not in a room, you might be in like public transport or at college. Or what, maybe you're homeless, you just found an iPod. You found someone's iPod who was watching this and you thought, why well, not just watch the rest for good faith? Ha, <laughs> good faith, I said it again. So thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Tally ho, have fun with the rest of your lives. Thank you, I hope you enjoyed watching. I'll see you all next time. <laughs>